Hi, my dear friends. Welcome to Christianity for Dummies like me. I just want to show this piece of clay in here. This lamp without any form. It doesn't look like anything. And what is it to do with yours or my life and our uh, stress life and anxiety and all that and insecurities? Well, let's discover that in this video, which I invite you right now. Hi, my dear friends. Welcome for coffee with Christianity for dummies like me. In the introduction, I was talking about the lump of clay. So what I would like to share with you today is that the very moment of life where you feel like you are uh, there's just nothing and everything is out of shape and there's nothing which you can uh, see uh, progressing in your life. There's this, this anxiety, this is the depression and all that. And one of the things which I try to introduce to is to trust in that invisible God, that God who truly cares for you, that he sent his only begotten son, that whomsoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 This is his commitment to you and I. And it goes beyond that. You know, the Bible compares God to the potter who grabs the clay which is lifeless, which has no shape, which has no purpose and, and, and it is lost in, on that wheel. And by choice, we start trusting him that if we can cast all other cares on him, he will care for us. And it is so important that we start truly choosing that to trust in that incredible, loving, kind and full of mercy and grace God who is willing to do something with yours or my life. You know, this pot of clay is sitting on his wheel and now God wants to spin it and start doing something with it. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, says the Lord in Jeremiah 18 verse 6. In the good times, it is easy to see that we are making progress. There is no doubt about it. But in the tough times, we are prone to feel like we are not making any progress. We are stressful, we are depressed and have no progress at all. We react to pain, loss and adversity in consulting our feelings rather than God. Consulting our feelings instead of God's faithfulness. Please understand this. At all times, you are securely in God's hands. As the clay is in a potter's hand, so are you in my hand, says the Lord again in Jeremiah 18.6. We need to start choosing and understand that we tried on our own, that we tried everything. We, we don't have the strength. We don't have the capacity. We don't have uh, the things, you know, in, in all this, all this uh, positive thinking uh, people uh, teaches you and I that we are all, that we have everything to do and we can do it and we can do it. And you, you, you experience yourself. You try so many times. You try and you're falling on, on the, in the trap over and over again. But there is a something which is higher than you and I. It's a something far more powerful, something or someone who truly cares regardless of your strengths or weaknesses. And he is willing to do something with you and I. You are work in the progress and the crucial things isn't your circumstances or feelings, but the potter's commitment to finish what he began. You are work in the progress and the crucial things isn't your circumstances or feelings, 
but the potter's commitment to finish what he began. You know, God is, is, is prepared to, to invite you into, into uh, his life and, li and him that you invite him into your life and he is willing to, 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 to help you and strengthen you and lead you through every circumstances in your life. And most of the time, okay, when everything is okay, you don't care. But you know, when the rubber hit the rock, when the shift is the fan, the, everything collapsing around, we need to know where we turn up to. And this is only one, only one. Not your friends, not the doctors, not the only one who can really truly help you. He is the one. He who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Christ. It says in Philippians 1.6. I repeat it again. He who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. What does it really mean? It means that he will never give up. He will keep going until you're shaped into that where you're supposed to be. It might take a little while, but it is up to you and I to, to allow him to, 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 to surrender our will and our life into his hands, the hands whose only hands who can shape us into the life which we truly should have and could have in Christ Jesus. Here are two things you must remember while you are spinning on that potter's wheel. Number one, the potter has the right to mold you as he sees fit. You see, nothing can prevent him from making you into what he wants you to become. And remember, he, he is desiring the best for you. And he is an expert at turning lumps of clay into objects of value and usefulness. Does not the potter have power over the clay? from the lamp to make one vessel for honor. Romans 9, 21. You know, God's desire is, is for you and I to, to, to be human beings as close as possible to His image. That is his desire. That is his determination to do anything possible in, 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 in our life to already have this eternal purpose, the eternal life. And, and he's working on you and I now already if we just surrender to himself. I say it again in Romans 9.21. Does not the potter have power over the clay uh, from the lamp to make one vessel for honor? Your job is to stay on that wheel and let God make you into what He desires you to be. And it's only the best. Point number two. The potter has an individual plan for each lump of clay. The potter, not the clay, determines the end product in the same way that the Holy Spirit determines your place and role in the body of Christ. That says in 1 Corinthians 12, 18. You say yes to God. You say yes to the one whom you don't really know, but you trust and choose to, and you are getting him more and more now, and it's through nada surrender, you will get to him now even closer. So he's the one who then determines to make it the best out of you, best out of the desperate lamp, best, best out of this 
a lump of clay which has no purpose, no firm, a firm foundation of anything, just just ha 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 through life. He knows the best. So again, number one point, the potter has the right to mold you as he sees fit. And so as he sees fit, it is the best for you. Makes you stronger. You say yes to God. You say yes to the one whom you don't really know, but you trust and choose to, and you are getting him more and more now. And it's through nada surrender, you will get to him now even closer. Come to my life. And then he will do the best what he sees that fits you, your personality, your individuality. You are the special person in his eyes when he works with you. He works with me on different basis, in different things, but yet in the same principle, the best for you and I. So the second point was, the potter has an individual plan for each lump of the clay. The potter has an individual plan for each lump of the clay. The God has individual plan for you and he has an individual plan for me, for your friends, for everybody, any human being. So discover the potter's plan and submit to him. Surrender your life to the God Almighty who created all. So I hope that it will help you sort of give you the idea that God is the potter. He makes a beautiful thing out of every individual who is willing to accept him into their lives. So I hope that today you are the one who accept him into your life. So I pray that you will do so. When you're on your own, just ask God, come to my heart, be the potter, and I want to be the clay. I love you. Cheers, and I'll see you next video. Bye.